Singapore is not a country that you would normally associate with the sport of soccer, but it does have a very credible and consistent domestic league. And while Singapore have never qualified for a World Cup, even as a FIFA agent, I knew of many players from Europe and also Australia that would go to Singapore and play soccer at a professional level. It is a tiny country that is just 278 square miles in size and only five and a half million people, but it's a country with great wealth and is one of the most civilized and advanced countries in the world. During my FIFA agent days, I sent numerous players to Singapore and they loved the country and were very happy with the professionalism of the teams there. The Singapore Premier League is a very professional league, which was previously known as the S League, which can actually pay decent money and attracts many foreigners playing in their teams. Singapore can be a great first step as a young professional and can lead to other great opportunities all over Asia. The Singapore Premier League has eight professional teams with the most successful being the Warriors Football Club who have won nine league titles. Now you're not going to make millions playing in Singapore but it is a great first stepping stone as a player or even if you're at the tail end of your professional career having a few years in Singapore would be a great experience and a chance to make some good money. It would definitely be a very credible addition to your soccer player's resume. Livability wise, Singapore is known as a global transport, finance and commercial hub and has the third highest GDP per capita in the world. It's also only about 80 miles north of the equator so the weather and the humidity is quite stifling in Singapore. Singapore is a very international landscape that attracts foreigners from all over the world in many professional circles. It's also governed by some of the strictest laws in the world relating to all aspects of life. Chewing gum is illegal and all you need to do is Google Singapore strict laws and you'll see what I'm talking about. So if you have a family member that struggles with discipline and abiding by the law, this may not be the greatest place to send your family member.